Kia ora and welcome back. My name's Zoe Stevie, your vocal coach for today and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to improve your pitching and intonation by using the handy dandy mobile app, which it's free by the way, Nail the Pitch. So let's get straight to the video. <laughs> but we can't talk about improving these things when we don't even know what they are. So firstly, pitch is, if we take the definition, is the degree of highness or lowness of a tone. Now, when we're talking about intonation, we're going even further into the note and we're talking about the accuracy at which we are singing that one note or that one pitch. For example, if I was to sing, ah, uh, I'm singing in the middle of that pitch. My intonation is correct. But if I was to sing, ah, uh, my intonation is slightly too high for the pitch. And if I was to sing, ah, uh, Oh, it's very crunchy. My intonation would be then too low for the pitch. In any one note or one pitch, we have a degree above and below the note, which is still considered the note. But when we're singing, we would call that out of tune singing. What we're looking for when we're practicing our pitching and intonation is that we're always sitting exactly in the middle of the note. Now, there's a very easy way that we can practice this and that's by using our mobile phone and the app that I encourage all students to download and I, because it's absolutely free, is Nail the Pitch. So let's get straight into how you can use Nail the Pitch to improve your pitching and intonation. So when you're ready, download Nail the Pitch on your phone. I'll pop a link in the description for the app. It's available both in the Apple Store and on Android devices. So that is why I recommend it to everybody. And it's also absolutely free. There is a pro version. So I'm gonna talk a little bit at the end about the differences between the free version and the pro version. But just for this video, we're gonna be working with the free version of the app. What's happening is that as I'm speaking, the pitches at which I am speaking are coming up on the app here. And it's going to be following along with what we're going to be singing. Now, there are a couple of ways in which you can practice using Nail the Pitch. Firstly, you can start by taking an acoustic instrument, playing the note, seeing what the note is on Nail the Pitch, and then trying to reproduce the note. So I'm gonna be doing my best to show you on my phone so you can really get a good idea about how you can practice this in real life. Don't worry if you don't have an instrument at home, check out the timestamps in the description because I'll talk about how you can use one of my practice tracks for exactly the same exercise if you prefer to do it away from an instrument. Now we're just gonna be talking about how you can work with a piano or with a guitar in order to practice your pitching and intonation. So you push the play button down at the bottom of the screen and you can see there that it is following along with the pitch that I am speaking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a note on our instrument just to double check what note it is. If you don't read any music, that's also not a problem whatsoever. So I'm gonna play the note on my piano And if I just push pause there so that you can see it, the note that I'm aiming to reproduce is the C4. Now I want to sit in the middle of that line that's available there. As I was talking about at the beginning, there is a degree above and below the note in which we're still really in the note, but we would call that in singing incorrect intonation or just simply out of tune. So I'm gonna play it again and then we're gonna try and recreate that note. Okay, 
So what you can see here is that my note was a little bit shaky, wasn't it? It was going above and below, above and below. I didn't really stay very well on pitch, did I? But the great thing about practicing by playing a note and then trying to recreate that note is that you're going to be able to see what note you are actually singing rather than relying on your ears. What we're trying to do when improving our pitching and intonation is we're trying to improve our listening skills because one of the main reasons why you find yourself singing out of tune is because you never learned to sing in tune in the first place. Pitching and intonation is a learned skill that we learn through experience, through trial and error, and through practice. So don't assume that it just falls from the sky and you're born with perfect pitch. No, not at all. It's about practice and about trying your best to improve. Listening, watching, processing, and then trying it again. Now, you're saying to me, you don't have a piano at home, you don't have a guitar at home, Zoe, what on earth do I do? That's not a problem. You can use my handy dandy singing on one note exercise available up here. What you can do, there's also a free download available in the description because I do recommend that when you are practicing pitching and intonation, that you're working on two different devices. So for example, I'm gonna play the exercise on my computer and I'm gonna be working with my Nail the Pitch app on my phone to give you a real life example again. So once you've downloaded the exercise available in the description, I want you to take out your nail to pitch again, have your speaker ready. So it's important that you're not doing this with earphones in because your phone needs to be able to hear the pitch that is being played on the exercise track if you don't read sheet music. There's also sheet music available for those of you who do read, um, but it's not important for you to be able to read sheet music to practice pitching and intonation. Now, what you wanna do is you're going to play the first note in the exercise so that Nail the Pitch can pick up the pitch that we're wanting to practice. So let's try it. There we go. I played the first note and we're looking at a G3, okay? Now I'm gonna try and sing that note again. Uh, okay, I found it a little bit challenging to find that note. So the note in the exercise is played four times and I'm going to each time pause the track, try and sing the note again and if I don't succeed, I'm going to try and try again. I did a little bit better that time, but as you can see here, on the second to last note, I dipped slightly below the middle of that line that I'm looking for. So we wanna try and maintain exactly in the middle in order to get the correct intonation. And as you're going further up the scale, you're going to notice where you are able to sing to on any particular day. And I encourage you that it's not about how high you're singing, it's about the quality of the singing that you're producing. Can you hear the note, think the note, sing the note to reproduce it? We're trying to build up the connection of what you're hearing, thinking it, and then being able to produce the pitch that you are thinking. There is a limitation though with Nail the Pitch. And unfortunately, because it is a free app on your phone, the accuracy when you are singing more than just on one note, or when you start singing more complicated scales, is a little bit iffy and it does have a tendency to jump up and jump down but this is where you need to listen a little bit harder and say okay well my voice isn't really going oh, 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 and jumping all over the place so maybe the app is just glitching out a little bit when you do start working with scales i suggest that you slow them 
down as much as possible so that the first note can always be picked up with the app and then you can sing it back into the app. Now they have recently increased the price for Nail the Pitch. It's currently four euros and 99 cents, but I still think that this is relatively cheap for an application for your phone, which you can use for a long period of time. And it is relatively accurate for the price that you are going to pay. I don't have a, the pro version of Nail the Pitch because I have other software, which was a lot more expensive on my PC. So I can't show you the recording of Nail the Pitch, but what I can say is you can record the exercise that you are doing. You can then push pause, scroll back and play it back to yourself to listen to what you're singing and see in real time on the screen what you were singing into the app. I hope that helped you in how you can use Nail the Pitch to improve your pitching and intonation. I have to say, I really love the app and I do recommend it to absolutely every single one of my singers as a way for you to start recognizing if you are singing with the correct pitching or intonation. I do have to say though, there are limitations with the app and it's not my favorite if you are really looking to take your singing to the next level. My personal favorite is actually the computer program Sing and See, which is available in the description for you to download. There is a free trial version of the program. What you can do there is you can play the note within the app so you don't have to have an acoustic instrument. You can also automatically record within the app, save the files and play it back. But I'm going to talk about that in another video. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me here today. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you around here more often. I do have a couple of freebies available in the description to help you improve your singing. But if you've got any questions about pitching and intonation, hit me up in the comments and I'll see you around here next time. Happy practicing. Kakiteano.